Force of the South East and Federal Government Delegation are resolved to reemphasize the unity of Nigeria while rejecting secession calls. The decision was made at the end of a meeting between the governors and representatives of President Mohamed Buhari on Friday in Enugu to resolve the growing insecurity in the Southeast. This is as Igbo elders in Abuja also called on the president to end the militarization and widespread killings in the Southeast and give room for more dialogue. There have been widespread destruction of security facilities and agencies by unknown gunmen suspect to belong to the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, a group agitating for a separate state of Biafra from Nigeria, which has led to military deployments in the zone. Addressing the meeting, the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and a boy state governor, David Umayi, who spoke on behalf of his colleagues and other leaders from the zone, told the federal delegation that Indigo condemned the attacks by unknown gunmen on security operatives, public institutions, and raising of police stations in the zoo, in the zone. Uma noted that the leaders have agreed to meet on the 19th of June to articulate the grievances and concerns of the zone under the umbrella of the Yohannes Zendigbo, after which they will nominate some people to meet with the president. Uma said the federal delegation discussed the ban on open grazing and expressed support for it. <clears throat> Uma said the federal delegation discussed the ban on open grazing and expressed support for it adding that Zone was happy with federal government's commitment to address the issue. He said he newly formed a Bibago security outfit set up by the governors. Five governors in the Zone is the only recognized local security outfit, adding that no other security outfit is speaking for the Southeast, and this is the position of Indigo. Earlier, leader of the federal delegation and minister of defense, Basha Magashi, told the gathering, that they were in Enugu on the instance of President Muhammad Buhari to find possible ways of resolving the insecurity in the zone. He pledged to deliver the message on complaints of the President for further discussions on the problems of marginalization and community policing in the zone. Edas decry carnage. In a statement by Dr. Chukwe Mekaizife, Professor C.E. Unwe Kaku, Professor Ihechuku Madubuike, Ma Barista Ong Arua Ong, and the Eze Ndigbo of Abuja, Dr. Eze Ibe Umosu, the Igbo leaders in Abuja, alleged that the military operation has caused the killing of 5,000 youth and the detention of over 10,000 in various facilities and untold hardship to innocent citizens in the zone. The elder cited the directive to security agencies by the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba Akali, on May 19, while launching Operation Restore Peace, to take the battle to them and kill them all, and don't wait for any other order. As the case, as the cause of indiscriminate arrest and enforced disappearances of hundreds of persons without opportunity of burial, a revered custom of the Igbo. Well, anybody is uh, listening to or see listen, yes, listening to Dave Umay, you must be you must be unstable you, you must be an unstable person because this man is really unstable. He does not even have a words of his own. Today we say one thing, another day he will say another thing. Uh I don't know why the north is threatening the southeast because they feel that because when you hear them, they will tell you, oh, these are the people that want the presidency. When it comes to presidency, forget it. Forget it. They don't like you. They don't like you. There's nothing you can do about it. With all this a committee that is being set or set up by the president or sending some people to go and have a discussion with them or they themselves going to Abuja to go and have discussion, all of these things wouldn't have been needed in the first place if Wari had done the right thing. If he had done the needful. And I've said it times without number, a lot of things that have been going on in this country, People just needed the president to come out and speak love. And it with that tension, but he came out and put petrol inside fire. So you are now, where after you must have, where you have given order to the IGP and the statement made by IGP that irrespective of anything, just kill them all. Does that how? And you know that, we know that they don't carry out due diligence. They do not do that. 
we know the system we have and that is why you see a lot of people shouting they will tell you oh ah why why are you afraid and when the people were doing all manner of things you didn't complain now they said they want to go and flush them out you are complaining as if you don't know a lot of people that have been affected by SARS operatives so they did anything wrong you see people you begin to harass them bring your laptop bring your tablet bring your phones and at the end of the day they will rope the people in a lot of people like that so what are people now talking about and you know the manner at which they do things just go and get them get them all according to the igp and you expect people not to shout are they been due diligence have been followed we have seen a lot of people that they've arrested uh, uh, wrongly and they have accused them wrongly so coming back to the meeting they are trying to say oh uh, we are not part of secession this and this and this and that <laughs> you think you can bribe them you think you can be begging them i don't understand Somebody that calls himself a president cannot come from the angle of love, always talking as if uh, he owns everybody, as if uh, he's talking to his family members, or he's talking to, to his children. And these people are, are dancing up and down. Today, Umayi will say one thing, another day, will come up with another thing. He's never, never a stable person. He does not have words of his own. One cannot even rely on what he says. Because the more you do all this, is the more you give them opportunity to oppress you the more. Hmm. Well, to show how foolish the uh, governors are, you have just joined Fulani in the no succession agenda, but I swear they are on their side. They on their side will never withdraw the systemic, systemic civilian killing. Repentant Boko Haram terrorists in army uniform in your land. The agenda is to conquer, Islamize, and enslave. You are just too blind and ignorant. Hmm. That is it. No governor in the Southeast had ever supported Kanu and his IPOP agenda. My wrong is why federal government magnifies uh, any personal opinion of any small, unguarded individual as a general opinion of Igbos, even when they are saying it originated from other tribes. Year 2002 was really raised the issue in lagos any opinion of senators in the federal house from east will be linked to it senator arthur zeribe can confirm that why did even wazurike support namdi now someone says my worry is press in nigeria is involved in marginalizing igbos they report only bad thing about igbo man killing everywhere in the west and north but you can't get the details but if it is igbo man involved it becomes news why and those who are playing to the gallery they they think uh, <laughs> they are going to be spared at the end of the day so what the uh igbo leaders are saying is that they kick against secession and seek withdrawal of troops just like that and like somebody said think uh, with all of this is they will condition you to the extent that you yourself uh, by the time you come out you see that you are irrelevant as you know as anything <laughs>